18 looking live on downtown Indianapolis. It looks kind of calm right now, Stephanie, but man, things could get interesting later today, huh? Yes, and I think tomorrow morning we're going to be looking at a different picture too, Drew, because we are factoring in showers and thunderstorms late tonight and through pretty much the rest of the work week. So take advantage of the dry weather while we have it later on today. Right now, our temperatures are starting off in the 70s. Yesterday, we tapped out in the low to mid 80s. So not necessarily too hot, and this is pretty close to where we should be for this time of year. It was another comfortable day as well. Most of us today will see increasing humidity levels alongside increasing temperatures. 70 degrees, mostly clear skies. Winds right now are out of the east at 5 miles per hour. Humidity overall not bad, but we're going to start to see this number go up through the course of the day today as well. 70 downtown, 63 in Kokomo, 67 in Shelbyville this morning, 66 up in Muncie. Heading through the day, our radar should remain fairly quiet, at least through our daytime hours. We will eventually start to increase our chance of showers and storms. And this is all associated with a cold front you notice here out west. We'll see some of these showers and storms generate a bit closer to the evening hours and overnight. So if you have any plants that take you outside this afternoon, it looks fine and dry for now. Download the Storm Track 8 apps. You're able to track those showers and storms alongside with us because we do potentially have that risk of seeing a stronger to severe thunderstorm. Marginal risk here in Indianapolis and points west. A slight risk out in Illinois and then an enhanced risk out in central Illinois through the day today. Through about 9 o'clock, not seeing a whole lot of hiccups on our future cast model. Still continuing to stay dry and quiet as we head through the early half of the afternoon. This is at about 1.30. Still not a whole lot going on. You notice a few showers and storms by 5.30, 6 o'clock out in central Illinois. That still is going to take a while before it crosses over the state line. So by around, say, 7, 8 o'clock, our far western communities, I think, picking up on the leading edge of that shower and thunderstorm storm system that's going to continue to shift into the state. By 10 o'clock, we'll see a few showers and thunderstorms here in Indianapolis. This is going to weaken, though, as it tracks across the state. So we're not anticipating widespread severe weather. There might be an isolated gusty shower or thunderstorm out of this later on this evening. By noon, 86 degrees. By 5 o'clock, we'll increase our chance of showers or increase our chance of clouds. Rather, high temperatures today at 90 degrees. So it is going to be a hot one here, pretty much widespread with everybody in the low 90s. This evening, especially closer to 9, 10 o'clock, will increase that chance of shower and thunderstorm activity. Lows tonight should fall into the low 70s, and then overnight and early tomorrow morning, still tracking that chance of an on and off shower. By around 10 o'clock, there might be a bit of a lull in the activity, but scattered showers and thunderstorms, I think, will be around pretty much at any time during the day on Thursday. Late Thursday and early Friday morning, again, we'll have another cluster of potentially stronger to severe thunderstorms, especially south of I-70. There's a marginal risk right now. Clipping portions of Columbus, Bedford, and areas just south and southeast of that. High temperatures tomorrow still warm in the upper 80s to low 90s. We're going to continue to see our temperatures warm into the low 90s by the end of the week. Friday, chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm, and that trend's going to continue as we head into this upcoming weekend. By Saturday, still tracking that chance of a scattered shower or thunderstorm through the afternoon. Sunday, very similar story with temperatures still remaining well above the seasonal high. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, temperatures feeling hot. Humidity levels also on the high side as well, which is going to factor into our heat indice numbers here. So by Saturday and Sunday, we could possibly be having a few heat indices in in the low 100s, feeling like it's almost near 105 by the end of the weekend and into early next week. Saturday, 92, 93 by Sunday. Both days has the potential for seeing maybe a scattered shower or storm. Chapman Heating and Cooling 8-day forecast. We continue to see that stretch of 90s well into the middle half of next week. So 90s, the heat, humidity, and storm chances going pretty much nowhere for now. Storm chances Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with high temperatures by this time next week in the low 90s. Great, Stephanie. Thank you. It's 422.